yeah, what, what would you say to, so someone says, right, okay, I want to start this lifestyle. I want to maybe start eating more fruits. How, what would you recommend? Just things to just be aware of, like common mistakes to avoid or, or just some handy tips. So like someone who's getting started, they know kind of what, what roughly to do and what not to do to, to feel the best. Right. So, um, I think the very first thing one must do and one, one commonality that I see in most successful raw foodists is the element of being hyper conscious with their food and their very state of being right. If you try to jump into this diet without ever being conscious about the role that food plays in your life, then I believe that you might be, um, be setting up your setting yourself up for failure. So here's here's what I want to here's what I want to here's the emphasis that I want to give about food. First thing is that the very food that we have in front of us is the very thing that creates this body, right? The whole reason why we were able to grow these nails, this, these fingers, this hair, this mind, this brain, this body is because of the food that we have gathered over the years right? If there was no food, there was no body that would have become this way, right? Sure, you can eat, you know, sure, we have like our DNA and our memory that has certain laws already put in place. So it's not like if you eat dog food for three days, you'll suddenly become a dog. That's not how things would work out. Yeah. You know, our body has stored memory that knows what to do once you ingest certain things certain substances food is so important man that if let's say you're stranded on an island you have access to water but no food and we've been looking for god forever right if let's say god appears in front of you after 15 days of starvation the very first thing you will ask is food you will ask nothing but food that's how important food is mm -hmm. right so this needs to be handled very carefully right and um one thing that I was able to do successfully, at least for myself, is when I have fruit and uh, when I have food in front of me, I was paying utmost care and attention to this thing before it before I even ingest. Right. I was quite literally, you could say, speaking to it to say that I'm fully conscious as to what you are and what you're going to do inside of me, because this is going to transform into me. Right. It's nothing but it's going to transform into me. So a papaya in front of you or rice in front of you or whatever you see in front of you is going to become you. Right. So um, having this this level of consciousness and awareness is super important. And also knowing that. What we call as as you, what I call what you call as you is not this body. If I cut a piece of finger, now you have two pieces of you. Would that still be you, the cut finger? No, right? It is yours. This body is yours, but it's not you. What is you is the very life force that lives inside of this body that is not here to serve the body. <laughs> the body and the mind is here to serve the life force that is inside of us. And what is this life force is you. It cannot be broken. It, the you cannot be two yous. You is you, and that is the life force, right? The very gravity of the planet Earth, the, the, the force at which the Earth rotates is the same force that lives inside of us. That is us. Is the same life force, but that is what I mean by life force. So um, being fully aware of, of, of taking care of this life force and taking care of what you have gathered, because essentially this life force is an engineer or a construction worker, right? We are the ones that choose how we want to construct what is ours, not us, which is this body. So once I had this much level of attention and conscious awareness towards my body, it became absolutely clear as to what is my food and what is not. I knew for a fact that I am not a lion with those long uh, with those long canine teeth that has spiky tongue 
that literally spills saliva, like it's 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 dropping uh, saliva when it sees an animal, a live animal. For it, it is it is food. There is just no way. I cannot look at a, a sheep and have like saliva come out of my mouth. Like that that just does not happen, right? So I was absolutely clear within me that I am not that, right? I was absolutely clear when I look at a grass that it's not like I was 100% sure it's not food. But when I see a papaya, when I see a watermelon, after a hot day, man, when I see a watermelon, I have that saliva dripping out of my mouth because I know that is food, right? So I was absolutely 100% clear. And this level of attention and keenness and awareness was able to easily help me transition and stick on it 100%. I was just probably a bit ignorant. I had to find it the hard way, but it was not the very hardest way. I had to be, you know, alone in the jungles of Colombia, sitting by a tree to have gotten this level of clarity. But if one can just sit by themselves on a sofa and watch this and get that level of clarity, they will know instantly that um, those, those ribs or, you know, the smoked ribs, whatever, is not food. Sure, we have trained ourselves to like the smell, the taste of it over the years. Um, but if one were to really pay attention as to how the body performs and how your emotions and energies perform before and after, they will know instantly what is right and wrong um, to stick on this diet and to be on this diet. Yeah. Guys, I want to go ahead and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got value out of this. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel only if you wish to. However, I would greatly appreciate if you were to going to help me reach out to so many more people with this conscious thought process on a conscious planet overall. And guys, I'll see you in the next one.